How's it going guys? This is Kenny. This is Scott. And we are staying connected. Uh, thank you for tuning into our very first podcast. We are very excited. It took us a while to get here. Um, yeah, just a lot of discussion and yeah, just planning everything out. And finally, we are here. We are here. So Scott, how do you feel? Uh, a little nervous. A little I know. Nervous. I mean, same here. A nervous. But, you know, being nervous is... It's a normal thing. Of course. And, um, of course you gotta... But at least we're here today doing what we planned on doing. And yeah, we're here to inspire. We're here to share ideals and of course have fun. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Yeah. So basically staying connected. Um, well, first off, it started off with a conversation over dinner. And yeah, Scott came to me asking me, do you listen to podcasts? Have you ever done any podcasts? And mm-hmm. I was like, um, I mean, I've listened to a couple, but I've never done any podcasts myself. And I was very interested. And yeah, from there, we just started talking about this project mm-hmm. and um, for months, actually. And Took basically, a Took a very long yeah, time. Um, a year later, we are, yeah, sitting in my room just getting ready to start this amazing project that we're super excited about yeah let's uh, tell them why it's staying connected what, what does that mean to you and why, why did we choose that name well staying connected first off um, it's in the name itself we want people to come together stay up to date with everything that's happening around you right um, just be informed and also try to find ways on how you can make a difference for us we're, we um, we try to find ways to inspire. Mm-hmm. We work in different industries, uh, and yeah, we have different experiences. So right. basically, for mm-hmm. us to stay connected means to share ideas and to grow together. Basically, mm-hmm. I agree. Um, I was telling Kenny um, the reason why I like staying connected so much, um, especially the second half of um, you know, the connect part. It starts with a K. Uh, not only because it starts with like the first letter of our, of our names, but you know, I, I like to think of it like this. And it, it was the more I thought about it, it was more meaningful to me that it was the the, the name of our um, show was like that. So the K for me it, it stands for kin, which is basically family. Um, in in Hawaii, you know, everyone's so close knitted, and it's a it's a melting pot for everybody. And I mean, we treat everyone like family, even if you're a stranger. Um, and for me, especially since I did come from you know Vietnam and then mm-hmm. uh, come here from like you know miles and miles, thousands of miles away, you know, I, I was just welcome from the mm-hmm. beginning, and that made a very lasting impact in like my life and, and yeah, how I saw awesome. things. Um, so moving on to the the on. So for me, that is like a convo, mm-hmm. or you know, having conversations, like right now, right now, <laughs> and then like convoy, you know, mm-hmm. taking for something to some. Go to somewhere else mm-hmm. um, and and at the end it's like connected bringing it all together so by having those conversations you know um, difficult conversations uncomfortable conversations with people you don't know people yeah. that you do know you know you're able to take that and learn about one another you know more than just you know a face front we're learning mm-hmm. about each other as um, individuals and basically as humans and from those conversation it, it takes us to, like to next level you know the convoy of just being connected so it, it goes around full circle by being connected we're one family just trying to help each other out like you said we're just trying to learn and you know, be humans together yeah. and yeah i mean with hawaii being such a melting pot yeah we think of everybody else as like ohana so mm. basically that connection that um cultural I guess background of Hawaii kind of brought us together Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah we come from different cultural backgrounds as well so it's gonna be interesting to learn more about each other um, to learn about ourselves pretty much and to yeah to influence everybody else to yeah stay connected with who you are and also try to find ways to learn other cultures because we live in such a growing society mm-hmm. so I, agree. Yeah, I, th- I think that sums up uh, like what we're trying to do here yeah. and what this 
podcast is about is like learning about each other first because I mm-hmm. think uh, for me the longest time I've been you know YouTubing I've been googling like how to make a successful podcast yeah no and there, there's so much advice it, it, it's crazy but at the end of the day it's more of just satisfying your own itch of yeah. like okay you know I might not be um, really experienced in business and leadership and whatnot but and uh, what I'm trying to do I'm trying I can I'm not afraid of failing and trying to learn so, and that's what conversation is about you know I'm that doesn't matter to me if I win or lose it's all about like learning about the other person and then taking uh, information with them to help you know, me succeed and um, yeah. totally helping others yes. strive to be successful themselves so yeah I mean yeah we all go through different challenges here and there and yeah it's good for us to kind of lay it out on the table and just Mm -hmm. share exactly what we're dealing with on a day-to-day basis and to basically see how we can find solutions Mm -hmm. into our everyday challenges and yeah basically to just connect and elevate each other Mm -hmm. because that's what we need every single day we need that push right um, to have that support so basically staying connected Mm -hmm. um It's in the name and it allows us to have that call to action to just continue being connected and move forward. I agree. Yeah. (laughs) I agree. Uh, Why don't we uh, introduce yourself a little bit, like a brief paragraph of like who we are. A brief paragraph about myself. Okay. Um, Like an interview question. Tell me something. I know. (laughs) Like what's interesting about me? Well, for me, I personally grew up in Hawaii. And I was born on the Big Island, moved to Lanai. Very different uh, backgrounds, you could say. I went from the country lifestyle to even more country. Mm -hmm. And then eventually I started um, college, went to Hawaii Pacific University here on Oahu. Mm -hmm. And I've been here since then, studied communication and currently work in media. Um, I guess on my downtime, I. I like to write. I love music, playing ukulele, guitar. It's very, very talented. Uh, at that. I mean, <laughs> we've been to karaoke before. Um, something we all miss, but you know, just being outgoing and yeah, I like adventure, traveling, all of that stuff. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact: We were supposed to go to uh, Korea this year. We were. Stupid COVID. <laughs> but you know that'll. That's in the making. You never know. I mean, this podcast was in the making, and exactly. Um, yeah, we, we're just gonna continue planning our trip. Hopefully, we end up in Korea someday. Yeah. <laughs> you know that that's the funny thing about like just starting the conversation. It's like yeah. you're planting the seed for something. Yeah. And then basically. like like you're always like, oh, should I take that plunge? And then like I think for the both of us, it's just just do it. You yeah. Know, even if you suck at it, this is our first podcast. And yeah. like, like you can tell there's still like some nerves, but that's fine. You know, the, yeah. more, the more we do it, the more comfortable we get. Pretty much. And then you just getting started and it gets compounds. Yeah. Well, I mean, now that you guys kind of know a little bit about myself, Scott, tell us how, you know, how awesome you are. I mean, mm. I, I knew you for basically a year, I think. Yeah. But it feels like ages and mm-hmm. all that. Um, yeah. Share with us who you are and... Yeah, for sure. Um, so I was born and raised in Vietnam and uh, lived there for six, seven years. And I moved mm-hmm. to California for uh, a couple months. Um, okay. It wasn't the best of times, but I guess we'll talk about that later. <laughs> you know? uh, and then moved to Hawaii. And like, I, I, like in the beginning of our conversation, it's just, you know, it was just mind blowing. Like, here's this foreign kid that didn't know a lick of English. And here's everybody like welcome him with yeah. open arms, you know. And I, I, I believe the first, you know, word I, I didn't, I didn't speak much when I came mm. here because, you know, all I knew, all I knew how to do was just like run and like eat, uh-huh. you know, <laughs> until I, I learned some English. But I think the, the first word I learned was like friend, oh. something. Because then all the other kids would be like yeah. friend, and then they would yeah. like shake my hand and like hug me or not, like friend, wow. friend, friend. Like I don't, I don't think they knew how to pronounce my Vietnamese name. Oh, so. See, I don't know what your Vietnamese name is. Right? Oh, okay. that, that's why we have. That's why. Yeah. That's how we stay connected. So yeah, here we go. Stay tuned till we find tuned. out his Vietnamese name. But yeah, um, like Kenny, I'm just an aspiring professional. I'm just trying to better myself every day. 
Uh, I'm super curious about learning about humans and like just people in general. Yeah. Uh, I want to learn about the experiences, what brought them here, and you know, I think that's why going back to staying connected. That's, that's for me. That's that's just the key right there. Just learning about people and the power of relationships is just so important. You know, yeah. and I, I met Kenny like a year ago, but then like you know how they always say yeah. you want to surround yourself with like the average of five people around you, and yeah. I'm very fortunate that I met Kenny because <laughs> you know through all this we're able to teach each other things, and then we're starting this podcast, mm-hmm. and then we're always like challenging each other. Yeah, you know, I see sure. him like um, doing really, really well in his in, in this industry and uh, other for, so, forms of media like mm-hmm. his footage, which, which we will <laughs> we will plug in later. Yes. But then he he's doing great, and then I take that as his motivation. I gotta up my game. <laughs> so we all yeah, feed each other basically, yes. and it's yeah, just something we want to continue to influence everybody to do is just continue elevating each other as much as possible Mm -hmm. because we all need it i think that can be that's the long-term goal for us it's just to create like a community and Mm -hmm. hope like like many people that want to challenge themselves to want to help other people get that you know get up to that level and then Mm -hmm. you know just even though you're really successful you're you're not afraid of just you know you know taking your uh, your shoes off and just going yeah. back into like the dirt and just grinding with Basically. everybody else you know leading yeah. by example and I, I think that's the direction of this it's just a journey of like people just trying to improve and yeah uh, conversation sure. and everything around us so i mean we all make mistakes here and there i mean we're young mm-hmm. personally we're we're young we're in our mid-20s but you know there's still a lot of a lot ahead of us yes um a lot of room to to learn mm-hmm and a lot of room to just yeah figure out who we are as an individual and in order to you know make that jump to the next level we got to be honest with ourselves and and that's another goal of like this podcast to have like raw honest conversations Mm -hmm. you know because sometimes you know we'll we'll have a talk about something really sensitive and that might hit a little close to the to the heart (laughs) but that's fine yeah It's, it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to not let it out let the, let your weakness show. Yeah, you know it's kind of like Eminem. You know, like the, <laughs> the ending battle where like he's like, oh, here's all my weaknesses. You yeah. know, everyone's watching, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> do it. But here's all my weaknesses, and then like, at, and then other guys turn to response like he's got nothing. Yeah, you no. Know? I think for us it's just being being real with ourselves. Like you know, this is me. Uh, I'm weak at this, but I'm trying to improve at it every yeah. single day. And through through that being completely honest with yourself, then you're able to like ascend. Yeah. You know? I mean, everybody has different personalities. Um, Everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. So Mm -hmm. it's it's a good balance. You know, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what my strengths and weaknesses are. I mean, Mm -hmm. I know like the the basic stuff, but you know, along the way, it's you just go through these challenges and figure out these solutions. And yeah, in the end, you kind of have an idea of what your strengths and weaknesses are. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, probably even for you as well. It's yeah, we're all different at the end of the day and it's good to to share how we feel um it might not be right away but you know it slowly unfolds exactly. it's like peeling the onion exactly. <laughs> it's like taking like a year to get a podcast started. i know basically <laughs> yeah so. awesome uh, so let's move to the you know, do you have any like um like, know your why for why you want to start this podcast is there any like deeper mm-hmm. reasoning you know why this podcast you know will help you yeah. grow I mean, first off, I think this podcast kind of, I mean, the name itself, Staying Connected. I, you know, I personally want to stay connected with who I am, like culturally, and Mm -hmm. also just what my beliefs are and uh, my motivation and all that. Staying connected Mm -hmm. to my goals and to just continue striving for what I want to do in life is to help people, to... um, help my family i mean family is such a huge thing here Mm -hmm. in hawaii and to kind of be an ingredient of such an important part that we see here in hawaii um which is family Mm -hmm. is is key and for me the why is to find ways to help and Mm -hmm. share ideas 
as much as I can. I agree. Like some of my uh, reasonings for like why uh, I want to do this podcast it goes hand in hand with what you said, mm-hmm. Kenny. It's like um, you know, speaking about ideas and then learning about you know, different things, and you know through me talking about it, I'm I'm able to like uh, solidify. Okay, is is my thinking correct? You no, know, or is my thinking wrong? Okay, if it's correct, why is it correct? If it's wrong, why is it wrong? And yeah. by having conversations with someone you know, with a different background, they're able to give me a different perspective. And like, oh, okay, I, I didn't see it from that point of view before. You know, that's great. Thank you for telling me that. So, yeah. uh, a, a big thing for me, you know, is like I mentioned before, satisfying my itch of like just putting my ideas mm-hmm. out there because I have so many ideas. But yeah. you know, and at the same time, there's also. Um, uh, I was also afraid of like you know I don't I don't have that much experience. We're both still pretty young and, and yeah. you know like you know if I say something about something, someone's gonna be like, oh you know you you didn't you you're not that experienced like you didn't do mm-hmm. enough research and it's like almost like imposter syndrome. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. But that's the point. In order to learn something, it's okay to fuck up. You yeah. Know? But the number one thing is no, excuse my language, but <laughs> it's okay to mess up. Yeah. But. You know, it, it, it got to take some humility. Oh no, that's my fault. Yeah, that's my bad. Sure. I was wrong. I should have done more research. Like, but now can you tell me yeah. something? What's up? Or so I can understand. So, so for me, you know, like like you say, helping people, and hopefully this uh, podcast becomes a, a catalyst to oh, help yeah, people. Sure. You know, especially bring people together mm-hmm. and challenge themselves. So let's go ahead and move on to some. Uh, Current events okay. that everyone's familiar with. All right, but uh, what what is going on with Hawaii currently today? Back in twenty December of twenty nineteen, mm-hmm. um, news went out saying, "Oh, there's this virus that spread from Wuhan, China." Right, and everybody was kind of wondering how bad is it. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, twenty twenty came around. Everybody was all happy, 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 and then. You know these uh, outbreaks start to happen, right. and for months, uh, Hawaii specifically has been hit pretty tragically. Pretty high. Yeah, yeah. Pretty high. I mean, for today as we speak, it's just it's chaos um, to see the numbers just increase every mm-hmm. single day. We went from single digits to double digits um, within the first couple months, and then now we're in the triple digits, which is just crazy because you know we live hawaii itself we're in the middle of the pacific ocean right we're not surrounded by anything else but water um and the population here i think we're up to like like a million people Mm -hmm. um and yeah a a very big percentage of us have been doing tests and all that and a lot of them came back positive so that's why we get all these news alerts saying, oh, and we got right. hundred and so mm-hmm. cases happening. Um, but yeah, it's been something that we've all been staying tuned in, right. um, staying up to date with all that information and figuring out how do we prevent all of this, all of these cases from increasing. Right. So there's different steps we take, um, practicing good hygiene, mm-hmm. Um, washing hands for 20 seconds right six feet social distance and all that and don't forget to wear your mask yeah. anywhere you go um, it's been quite the challenge for everyone because we're not used to masks right. wearing masks or it's not in our culture it is not, not. American culture yeah so I mean I know based on my travels to like other countries like Japan for example mm-hmm. yeah they use a lot of masks um, just to prevent from all the radiation, I believe. Yes. And yeah, I mean, so it, they've been used to that whole lifestyle, but for Hawaii, we're so laid back with everything. Yeah. Exactly. We basically just do what we want. And um, now that we have these restrictions to follow, it's been something that everybody has challenge, been challenged on. Mm-hmm. And I you know eventually had to adjust to real quickly. Um, do you know how many cases we have Today, so far? Uh, so, over 5,000? Yes. So we basically have up to, yeah, close to 6,000 cases as of today. Um, 
yeah, it's crazy to see how the year is already almost over to see the numbers increase within each week. I mean, more so each day is just right. shocking. February and March is when things started to shift dramatically where as the government told everybody to like any businesses and mm -hmm. people working in offices, teachers working in schools, right. um, they were asked by the government to stay at home. Mm -hmm. So basically during February, everybody was prepping up for the shutdown. Right. And you know, in Hawaii for everything to shut down is kind of scary. We are heavily reliant on yeah. tourism. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it was quite scary for everybody. And so, yeah, between February 1st to March 1st, that's when everybody was just slowly adjusting to mm -hmm. everything and planning the whole next couple months and all that. Right. And then March came around. For me personally, I work in an office and I had to pack up all my shit. Mm. Pardon my language. Um, <laughs> pack up all my things and go home and work from home remotely. Yeah. And I've been here at home since March. I never stepped into the office since then. And yeah, it, it was quite an adjustment. Mm -hmm. And what the government was um, asking everyone to do is just continue staying home as much as possible whether it's for exercise or um, eating out mm -hmm. basically just stay home as much as you can and yep. that's what everybody has been trying to do um, I would say with the first shutdown we it kind of helped because you know a lot of people haven't been going out mm -hmm. haven't been gathering in right. clusters versus today where it's like I guess over the months as we seen the numbers kind of maintain mm -hmm. the government started to open up uh, different businesses so for a good what for a good time right restaurants and other small businesses shut down and then eventually they opened up and that's when everybody got excited yeah. mm -hmm. um, especially like all these fitness fanatics it's uh, like the gym I was, for I was super excited. <laughs> I was, super excited. <laughs> Yeah, so with things slowly opening opening up within the past couple months, um, let's say when July began, so mm -hmm. July 1st is when things started opening up. We, of course, had the 4th of July holiday. Mm -hmm. That event brings a lot of people together, um, especially on the beaches here. And that's where we started seeing the numbers slowly increase. Right. And from there, it just never went back down but for for yourself has there any been there's been any like struggles any difficulties you know with, yeah with, with well, all changes it made for COVID so far I mean back in March is when I started working from home right. and working from home remotely with quite a large team it was very difficult because we're in the communication business mm -hmm. and um, for us to have some distant communication there's always going to be some technical difficulties right um and it's not like working in an office where you can walk up to the person and ask them a question you have to email them mm -hmm. you have to call them and yeah sometimes we're just away from our computers and right. you know we we need stuff right away so deadlines was um a very difficult thing to adjust to it's like you know we got to get this story or this um i guess video in as soon as possible and mm -hmm. yeah it's it took a while i would say it took me a good two months to mm -hmm. get used to that lifestyle and now i feel pretty comfortable yeah so, so what did you have to do to become more efficient or more productive any um, setting up their office a certain way or waking up a certain time or yeah so it basically started off with setting up my room as an office because mm -hmm. I'm so used to yeah working in the office and to not have a personal office is like because I, I usually go to like a cafe to right mm -hmm. do extra work and all that but um, yeah I had to set my room up 
you can't see it right now, but I had to set it up as an office and also have like a whiteboard just listing down my tasks for the day mm -hmm. and to understand more about my time management. Right. That is something that really threw me off because working from home, I felt so comfortable. I didn't even know what time it was right. during the mm -hmm. day and what day of the week it was because I'm just stuck in my room and yeah just focused on work and you know I I mean I work from 8 to 5 mm -hmm. generally and to work from home I was catching myself working more hours than mm -hmm. I um, should have um, because I just lost track of time I love my job and it does keep me busy mm -hmm. and now that I'm at home it really help because I get to focus a lot more and so you'd um, be more productive yes um, mm -hmm. because I work in an office where it's like more than 20 people coming at me and it's um, it's challenging at times but now it's just me myself and I and you time to think about and prioritize what yeah. you need to do yeah and just try to find balance between work and of course taking a break mm -hmm. taking a lunch break to eat because we gotta feed ourselves mm -hmm. And if you miss out on that, then it's, yeah, you're going to find yourself struggling a lot more, not just work-wise, but your health as well, getting enough sleep. I agree. Um, fortunately for myself, I, yeah. I still have employment. And mm -hmm. of course, we have to go through like a lot of testing, which I don't mind. But have you ever done a swabbing? No I swabbing? did not. I've seen videos of it's, it. Uh, it's not cool. quite uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like a brain picking the trying to Are pick, you pick some uh, brain material. Oh but, man. Hey, but it's for the good. The it is. It's for the good community. Yes. But um, yeah, I, I, I totally understand and with your with the concept of, like having a schedule, everything's mm -hmm. so set. So sometimes you're you're just automatically just moving you know, work, 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 lunch, work, 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 clock out. So uh, for, for myself, that, that's been like a difficulty because uh, a lot of places that I go to after work, they've been closed down. So oh. it's like, okay, what what I do now? Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, now I just have to sit down and think about, okay, what's the best way to uh, maximize my time? Or what's the best way to, what are some things that I need to do in order to reach my goals and yeah for sure. I, I had to you know take a deeper look and just dive down okay i need to do this because let's say i'm trying to finish up some uh, some business books okay mm -hmm. i need to let's say every day i'm gonna read 30 pages yeah. you know and it, it adds up and every every single day i'm gonna do some strategic thinking you know about like my career goals and like skills that i need so you know definitely having time for yourself to just to think and know shift yourself to yeah and be able to um you know uh, plan prioritize what you need to is, is, is so important i think you get more out of that than yeah. rather than just going through the motions it's yeah. always good to like take a step back yeah and be like look at the entire picture because sometimes you're so engrossed in it you can't see the whole picture just work 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 yeah. eat work work and then just sleep and i think we all need to do that we we need to step back at times and just you know look at the whole big picture mm -hmm. and everything it's like are we really doing what we intend on doing from start to the end of the day is are we accomplishing as much as we can and mm -hmm. yeah just setting goals for ourselves right yeah yeah have you picked up any uh, new hobbies or anything? i did you know i i mean i was always into cooking but i never really experimented a whole lot with mm -hmm. all of that so yeah, I started cooking, I started baking, oh. um, and on top of that, I started to eat healthier. Yeah, I, can tell. <laughs> I mean, tell. it's been, yeah, so I basically just started cooking different dishes, I mean, close to my culture, like Filipino mm -hmm. food, all of that, understanding who I am culturally, and also baking Filipino desserts as well. I mean, mm -hmm. I haven't, I mean, we love potlucks here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, I personally love to eat. We all love to eat yeah. and try new things. So we're just awaiting the the next potluck we can have so we can all Let's dive it. into whatever I cooked and hopefully you guys love it. Do, and <laughs> Do you have a favorite thing to cook or bake? Well, I love to cook pork adobo. Oh, because, I've never had. Oh, well, eventually I will deliver and 
yeah, it's been a great opportunity for me to just connect with my culture and so what what was the uh, what's the main thing what's the most important thing you learned so far oh all right so um <laughs> i started this personal project um it's called kamit hawaii mm. and the reason why i started it is because i've always had a passion for food um but in addition i always wanted to learn more about who i am and where my family comes from and also the traditions that they brought from the philippines over mm -hmm. to america specifically hawaii and yeah to understand just the hard work that was done for um just me personally to to see how culture plays a huge impact in the growth of hawaii mm -hmm. and yeah to understand the challenges and to reflect on who i am today mm -hmm. I think that's so, one thing I uh, appreciate about your Instagram. Yeah. You, know, you see uh, a lot of food Instagram. I mean, it's just food, and that's cool yeah. and all, and it looks great. And uh, so I'm trying to move away from that general type yeah. of foodie type of personality, mm -hmm. whereas um, I go more in depth into understanding why the dish is important, how right. to make it, and um, yeah, all of that good stuff that we really want to know. Mm -hmm. It's and kind of like the podcast too. You're you're learning about yourself, yeah, and you're like teaching others about yeah. you know your culture and other cultures. So are. staying connected as much as possible mm -hmm. with everything that's happening, and yeah, I feel like this whole pandemic allowed everybody to focus a lot more and to just connect with themselves and and find ways to grow from this issue that we're dealing with I, th I think that's a really big takeaway of what you said yeah because uh even though things are pretty dire and you yeah. know people have different circumstances is yeah. you know your mindset of how you think about things you know it's, it's so important yeah and i have i have a couple of friends that are like you know struggling because you know mm -hmm. they lost a job unemployment and such and they're doing very very well they're just thinking about like positive you know like oh, okay now i have time to focus myself and i have time mm -hmm. to read you know a couple of my friends they just i i showed them a few resources about um free education online you know, yeah. especially harvard stanford they have a lot of like free <laughs> links that they resources. can learn and like they're telling me oh i have learned more you know on like online and these free courses yeah. than like my you know education and like universities where i pay like thousands and thousands Seriously. of dollars so it, it, I think you know, even though situations might suck right now, just do your best to take you know mm -hmm. the most positive light out of it. Cause, yeah. You know, everyone's struggling, but you gotta find opportunities to keep getting better. You know, re reach yeah. out to people you know that are like similar to you, and then just you know talk. Hey, you know, I think that's a very um, underrated, underspoken thing about these kind of things uh, during these times it's like that yeah. mental health yeah people. that is such a huge thing ever since this pandemic because yeah a lot of people have been struggling with this whole situation and mm -hmm. it's taken a toll on their mental health and finding resources for them to <clears throat> yeah to eventually get better and all mm -hmm. that is you know it's it's been tough but yeah it's mm. would you say that like a lot of times you know, people just don't want to say because they feel very shameful of it. And they just hold it in and it just makes it worse. And then yeah, by, mean, by having a conversation when, or even venting, you just feel so much better. And then you just can, you can just release that negative energy inside of you. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you keep things in, it's, it's like a, a soda bottle. When mm -hmm. you eventually bottle things up, you know, once it opens, it's just... Yeah, you're just shaking all the emotions inside mm -hmm. of you and then once the cap opens you just explode so it's mm -hmm. it's kind of yeah very it's very dangerous to your health mm -hmm. to just keep it in you need to share with somebody you feel close with mm -hmm. um yeah just try to find a way to talk it out and vent i mean we personally do these zoom calls right. thankfully with technology it's been helping us to stay connected with all of our friends and mm -hmm. just to catch up and see how they're doing because you know at the end of the day they we all live in different houses and 
Um, sometimes we don't have anybody to talk to. Yeah, we're social creatures. Yeah, we and need, yeah. for us to have technology to allow us to make multiple video calls and all that mm -hmm. is very helpful for our mental health. I agree. Yeah. Besides, you know, your um, your full Instagram and this uh, podcast, mm -hmm. you know, you know, for the rest of the year, like, what, what else? No, do we do, do you have yeah. in store for yourself or? I mean, what's interesting is that you know, like, we all have these New Year's resolutions, right? right. So, back in twenty December thirty first, twenty nineteen, I was gonna tell myself, yeah, I'm gonna travel more, save up, and um, work out. I'm and I guess reflecting on what I said mm -hmm. back then, I mean, working out has been a priority for me. I feel like. Working out has allowed me to not just grow mentally mm -hmm. and just be more refreshed, but I feel, yeah, just more alert with my day-to-day -day tasks. And yeah, I mean, other goals was just traveling, but you know, that's put on a hold. That can always wait. Right. Mm -hmm. um, traveling will always be there. Um, yeah, learning new things and connecting to my culture was a really big key that I wanted to touch on for this year mm -hmm. and yeah it's so far it's been quite a good experience just mm -hmm. starting these personal projects and yeah it's been very good for my mental health right yeah just to let it out and exactly I agree. it's something we all just have to do and mm. i yeah, like i like what you mentioned about just like doing it and yearly um year your uh, resolutions mm -hmm. now for myself I, in the past i was like yeah you, this year i want to do and i i actually have a google doc of like things i want to achieve you are set but, <laughs> you have a list. but i think what's been more successful for myself is almost kind of like a daily resolution so yeah. I, right now i'm learning how to play the piano and i'm trying to i'm learning more oh, about oh, financial oh. stuff and i'm learning about all this and all this and after a long day i'm probably not gonna do all those things to the best of my ability mm -hmm. so what i'm doing is okay you know i got like 10 15 minutes to play the piano so i'll do that yeah. i got a uh, half an hour to read you know and before i sleep you know i got like a couple minutes to just look mm -hmm. it through some uh, financial stuff and yeah. uh, learn more about stuff so it's more about you know not doing a whole lot of it mm -hmm. but then just doing a little bit of it and yeah. giving yourself that vote you know it's like people say oh i can't play the piano i'm not i'm i don't know how to play the piano <laughs> i'm not a piano you know my fingers yeah. don't move like that but instead now every time you do just a little bit of something it's a vote of like i'm a piano player yeah because just i play a couple minutes time and it, it adds up like we talked about compound interest mm -hmm. it adds up those pages you read will add up uh, those videos you know you read uh, you watch on youtube about finance they add up yeah and eventually it, it leads up to a bigger action you know, then you learn a new skill then you're able to move on to your next goal or like combine those goals you yeah. know synergize it and whatnot and i, I and for our podcast specifically yeah. uh you know, I, I think, you know, we were planning on like, oh, you know, we'll push it back to next month. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, no, yeah. let, let's just do it. You know, yeah. e even if we're not good, you know, even if you feel like nervous, one, let's, let's just do it. And then we'll just keep doing it rather than just yeah. waiting. I know. I mean, I like your approach with, yeah, just setting time to do these things that mm -hmm. you haven't done before. Because, yeah, once you, even 15 minutes a day, mm -hmm. just doing something that you want to learn or haven't tried yet right yeah it really helps because you know we all learn along the way and to put in the effort to do something you know it does um allow you to grow from there so and then it turns out like it wasn't that bad just yeah the the, the thing that you're dreading all day oh i gotta yeah. read for it wasn't that bad when you finish <laughs> but it's all it's all about just starting you know yeah like pushing a car so so difficult when you're just trying to get yeah. started but as the wheel start moving it's like okay i got momentum it does, yeah that, that's what you need just some momentum and just do it yeah it's so important especially during covid when everybody has all the right reasons to like not want to do something yeah like i have friends that started taking out baking started learning a new mm -hmm. language it's because they took time they didn't exactly. have they didn't make excuses to to not learn these things so yeah no, don't make excuses and find out how will you make time to do all of these things. 
Would you say that no one's really that busy? They just prioritize their time. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm. so yeah. if someone says, "Oh, I ain't got time," just, you're not that busy. Yeah. <laughs> <Priority. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Set your priorities straight, and also, yeah, just find ways on learning new things. Awesome. I yeah. think I think those are some good takeaways, and um, yeah. So let's uh, as we're wrapping up, um, you know, any recommendations for our listeners for our well any books posts I mean, resources i guess if you want to learn more about food and culture <laughs> where, where, where can we go <laughs> uh, well my instagram is kamit hawaii mm-hmm. this is where you can learn more about different cuisines and food that make up hawaii's melting pot and i am excited to announce that i'm launching a website okay oh, go, this is news okay. yeah so that'll go more in depth about these foods that i explore on and yeah just my experiences um traveling and also some at-home projects because yeah i mean i've been at home since march and Mm -hmm. i gotta figure out what to do with my life so whether it's cooking or like some diy projects in the bathroom kind of thing Mm -hmm. yeah all of that stuff i love it you're you're practicing what you preach and that's that's so important yeah like like i for me when i hear people give advice and i see don't don't see them live it it's like come on mm-hmm. you know you're just saying that to sound cool but you know, like for as long as i know kenny like anything he says he does he'll do it and then yeah. you know it's, i'm not surprised that's why you know it's great to be friends mm-hmm. with people like this they motivate yeah. you to do yeah. things like this and okay okay now I gotta step my game up. <laughs> Blog coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. But what I like about Scott is that he pushes people, he motivates people to to be the best selves that they can be. So it's, yeah, it's been a year knowing Scott and, you know, since day one, he's always, con- he's always been pushing not just myself, but everybody around him to, yeah, just find ways to grow and mm-hmm find ways to make use of your time and yeah i mean every time we met up we would always talk about the podcast right right. and months went by and now a year and look we are finally doing this podcast Mm -hmm. and yeah without that push it definitely wouldn't have been possible we would have been Mm -hmm. just you know just saying ah yeah let's let's do it next month let's do it the month after yeah but you know we can't waste time we i mean it's cliche but we only live once and yeah. we're still young so yeah might as well try it out before it's too late i agree i agree by by making your circle better you're yeah. making yourself better yeah so that's that's how i see it you know when we hang out with our group of friends it's like yeah you know if anyone has like the attitude okay let's let's get better no let, let me um let me uh, show you something or let me let, let me ask you a question like okay no if you wanna okay <laughs> so that, that's awesome so yeah. I'm glad we did this um, for recommendations for myself yes. um, uh, like, like I mentioned of just doing something just to do it no just just to do it every single day like it doesn't have to be super long yeah you know? like I'll go back to my uh, book reading example like some days I'm, my brain is so fried I do not want to read a single <laughs> page but just going through it, okay, let me just read like five pages. Mm-hmm. Let me read 10 pages. What book are you reading right now? Right now, I'm reading uh, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Oh. Maybe we can do like uh, a book. Nice. Kind of video, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, excellent book, highly recommend. Um, but yeah, but yeah, just like just doing it. You're just giving so- yourself that vote every single day and it becomes a habit. It's like, yeah. hey, yesterday, I, did, I read five pages, let me read six. Oh, yeah. no, I read seven pages, let me do eight. Yeah. Let me do five minutes, ten minutes, and it, it becomes easier. That's all it's mm-hmm. about. It's like a game of like making it easier for yourself. Yeah, I mean, step your game up each time personally. It's just, yeah, you gotta challenge yourself, and that's the only way for you to grow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> that's awesome. This is great. I know. I am happy that we finally came out here and just, yeah, lay it out on the table, and mm-hmm. um, it's the beginning of something exciting i'm excited for the next episode too and yeah let's um, come on this uh, journey with us <laughs> as we learn more about ourselves and everything else in between yeah. i mean this is just day one so yes yeah, st- stay tuned because there's a lot more that's gonna 
happen and we can't wait to share with you all on everything that's happened. Can't wait. Stay connected with Stay us. Stay connected. Gathering, growing together. Alright, we are out. Out. <laughs> oh.